as I said in the previous one, we are going to look at this uh, contact form. So in SwellKit 1.0, the best feature that's been added is uh, Swelt Actions. So I, I really like it. Swelt Actions makes this form uh, very native to HTML forms. And it also makes it even better, uh, even without JavaScript. Anyway, so let's let's look at how to create one. So in our contact page, however, it's empty. Uh, we're going to create a contact form. But before that, I see that this hero uh, is being used on every single page. So let's maybe move that to layout. Um, so I'm guessing it's in page right now. I'm just going to take that out and put it in, put it below navbar and maybe the import as well. That should uh, do. Okay. So in every page, we should have the hero as well. Okay. So once this is moved, uh, every page should have uh, all the, yeah the same hero now below this we want this contact form which is here and we'll try to uh, i'll try to get the complete form itself writing a form is kind of tedious so i'm going to get the entire form maybe the outer html and then i will go to contact page there is nothing here i'll just put it here now I uh, maybe I should have typed it all out, but it's it's fine. So what you have is a form field, uh, which is important, um, and inside them you have input. And a uh, few things we have to make sure of is the name for the input fields uh, that should always be there. So let's see how it looks like in our app. So it looks weird. Um, let me add uh container here so i could have wrapped it down okay so anyway so this is this is fine um the styles are not really great uh, we'll we'll try to improve that uh a few things we, we're gonna remove all these things we're gonna write it all again uh we're gonna keep the names let them be there uh the field set i don't know if that is needed at this moment know that and button uh so we have a button of our own so we're going to import that and do submit close this uh remember we want the type submit i mean even without this the form usually gets submitted but it's better to have it and there is some error in the import let's use dollar yeah, submit button is fine other things are not so much let's design this a little bit so dot container uh, uh okay. container adding in zero so that should uh, give us the gap we wanted uh, it's too much this button i don't know why our default button is like that so let me change it a little bit uh, it's here medium maybe one em is too much point i is enough this should be okay and the default button should have cursor pointer because when you hover over it, it should show a pointer okay so these things now the styles for all these input fields so how are we gonna do that let's go here now let's select all the inputs and text area uh, let's do padding Point five, um, one am maybe. Okay. For the radius, point two five. 
and we want uh, border one picks solid as triple maybe triple nine okay um yeah so this is okay now there is a form group uh in all these things so let me use form group and have a margin bottom of one em I don't know if that is enough. Maybe 1.5. Okay. So this should be good. But the padding seems uh, not adequate. Use 7.5. This is okay. Width also. It's to be full. And the labels that we have, uh, we may have to have a margin bottom for them. Point two five m. We need more point five. One. Uh, it's margin bottom, but. For some reason, it's not applying. That. Yeah, sometimes you know it is not uh, display block, so sometimes we have to display block and use it. So this seems to be working now. So one em is not necessary. Point five is more than enough. Okay, so we have the form, and uh, we should have a title for this page. Inside the container, I'll have a H2 contact us and um, that H2 needs to be styled properly. So it is at the top. I'll put it here. Um, font weight, maybe 3M. And uh, font size. Uh, actually, the font weight is 500. Font size is 2 em. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so these forms, uh, when submitted, nothing happens. Like, you know, if you want to submit something, it uh, just, you know, adds these parameters and doesn't do much. It should have refreshed at least. Um, I don't know why it isn't. Let's do method equals post. Uh, let's see if it does something here. Maybe without action, it doesn't do anything. Uh, it is doing something. Yeah, it did refresh. Okay. Method post, it's working. Uh, now, um, how do we get the data to, um, how do we fetch whatever is submitted? Right. So that's where um farm actions come into picture so farm actions is something we define in the server file so it should be plus page dot server dot js um it doesn't you know it has to be in the same route so that's something and if it is in a different route you will have to mention that properly so export const actions um this will be equals this is an object with uh, multiple functions so the first one is default sometimes you know we don't mention uh, any action name in that case it will be default so it is an asynchronous function it takes the event i think then uh, it returns some data now let's not have a return so let's have console log event and see if we get anything so when we submit this should execute so let's do something let's uh, open up the server thing so i'm gonna close the other one so this is enough let's submit and see what happens yeah so if you look at it so we get a lot of things here uh we are interested not in cookies sometimes you know you may have to use cookies uh, but we are interested in this request and 
uh, inside the request there will be uh, you know uh, data that we want uh, i'll tell you how to get that uh, let's let's go back so when we are getting the request so we can just destructure it here uh, now we'll get the form data so const uh, form data equals await uh, request dot form data dot form data yeah. so this is quite nice so um, request dot form data gets the form data so console dot log uh, let's say we want form data dot you have to use get uh, let's say we want uh, name so name is name so name is email so let's say we want email okay. so we can just do email and we should get the email so let's enter some emails submit and here yeah we got it here so that's how you get it so i'm gonna destructure them or maybe const uh, email equals uh, you, you can explicitly call all of them so there are only three so name is name i think the last one is message is uh this email is email message So we'll get all these. Uh, you can actually uh, check all that using name, uh, email. Okay, so let's uh, fill something in. Let's see if we get it in the back end. Now this will reset, the form will reset. But if we go here, so we are getting all this data uh as we wanted uh, here after we get this data we can actually send it to the back end or and like if you want uh send an email or do whatever you want whatever action you want to take um so that will happen here uh, you will have to do that here and along with that you can actually return a few things like whatever you want to return i'll, I'll show you how we can get that as well so let's imagine we return uh, something like success or message and uh, something like um is submitted all right so this is the this is the thing we return it but how do we access this so we go here so here i'll i'll write something uh do something with the data uh right so you have to I mean what's the point of a form if you don't do anything so you will have to use this data to do something maybe send an email maybe save it to the back end or, or something okay after that when we have returned this now there is a way to get it here okay so the way is export const form okay, so this is always available uh, when the form is i mean it will be undefined before and once you submit it will be available okay so something happened here uh, let's refresh 500 internal error what is causing it um next token what is unexpected here ah, okay export let i often forget uh, I use const a lot and sometimes yeah, that happens. Okay. Uh, now, if I inspect and see the console here, I shouldn't, yeah, I should be seeing an undefined thing. So let's say I submit something, some data here, submit. Uh, I should get that message. Now I can display that message somewhere, like, you know, to the header maybe i can just uh, have a p tag and show something like form dot initially it's null so i'm using optional chaining here so form dot message because otherwise it will throw an error uh or 
we can do this or we can also have a if condition and try to show it form is submitted it's it's already showing it now if i refresh it should go away and uh, if i submit something even if if i submit without doing any you know entering anything it says form is submitted all right we are going to stop here and we'll continue this in the next video thank you bye bye